I'm Natasha Rivett, Chief Services Officer here at ARC, and I'm here to bring you an update for October and November. So October was actually a relatively quiet month for us. We did have our last Far North Queensland Coordination of Supports Network meeting, and we also had the ARC Participant Voice Representative Group meeting. We have dates for those for next year, and we're really looking forward to engaging everyone around ideas and um, innovation for ARC moving forward. So although October was a quiet month, we definitely made up for it in November. It was with great pleasure that we held our annual general meeting on the 6th, and it was fantastic to see so many of our participants, parents and staff attend that. So thank you to everyone who came and spent the evening with us reviewing the year that was at ARC. We also had our office team development day on the 15th, uh, with Alan Parker, who talked to us about communication and strategies. On the 27th, our art creatives met and had authors in the library. And on the 27th and 28th, ARC held its staff development days. These are crucial days where we provide opportunities for our staff to learn and upskill and network. This year, we had La Trobe University professor come and talk about person-centered practices and also a local speech therapist company come and talk to us about augmentative communication and AT and the importance of that within the lives of the people that we support. On the 30th of November, we had SIP Chew and Chat where ARC CEO Benjamin Keast and the senior management team met with participants, families and community to talk about the disability sector, ARC and what the future might look like. And if November wasn't busy enough, we have some amazing stuff coming up for December. ARC has its annual Christmas disco on the 7th and that will be held at the Cairns Reef Casino and we look forward to celebrating a fantastic festive evening with everyone. So if you would like to come, please RSVP to Brooke and the details are on the screen. Also from the 15th of December through to the 14th of January at the Cairns Tanks is an art exhibition. Liesl Hull and some of the other artists that attend our City Hub Artist Hub a lot of hubbing there, we'll be having an art exhibition, some amazing work, and I really encourage you, if you have five minutes, go and have a look. So this year for Arts Christmas Karaoke, we've got a little bit of a disparate spin on it. We're inviting people to participate by doing their own self video. Brooke is able to send you through the link and the instructions on how to do that. So you don't necessarily need to be here. You could be anywhere in the whole world, do your karaoke to Jingle Bells and send it through and you'll become a part of the Art Christmas Karaoke video, which will be up in December. Talking about Christmas and the festive season, I have some important dates to share with you. The art office will be closed from the 22nd of December through to the 1st of January, and the holiday house will be closed from the 23rd to the 1st. Programs will be closing from the 23rd of December through to the 7th of January, and the IREC is also closed for the school holiday period. Art will still be providing our essential support services, and there will be some staff working in the background. Our on-call emergency phone will also be manned during that time. So if you do have any requests or some changes to your supports during that period, please let us know so that we can work out those for you in advance. Well, that's it. I can't believe that we're at the end of 2023. Thank you all very much for watching the ARC vlogs and for your feedback. We look forward to seeing you again in 2024. Until next time, ARC, we're more than just supports.